fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, Sunday mornings are always the best. How many of you like Sunday morning? Okay, same for me. I turned, hugged my wife, and was just kissing her neck. <laughs> and the doorbell rang. Ding, 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 ding. Anytime the doorbell rang like that, I know it's my neighbor. Angelo came over, his wife Juliana just baked some fresh buns and made some very lovely hot dogs. Let me tell you this story about Angelo. Angelo grew up in a small village in South Italy. He grew up the hard way, without any formal education. His wife, Juliana, she never went to school. At age 12, she began working in her aunt's kitchen. The pair came to Canada in the early 1970s with their two boys. David, then nine, and Leo, seven. They wanted a better future for their boys, so they made education their, their priority. It was tough times then. Angelo returning home one evening from a fruitless day of job hunting saw an old discarded barbecue by the curbside. <clears throat> His heart fired up with excitement. He wheeled the barbecue home. Then he began to wash, overhaul, and shine it. It was just after midnight that he stepped into the home. Juliana, honey, I found a job. I will be selling hot dogs in Toronto. Juliana and him decided that the next day she will make the lovely sausages and she will make the fresh made buns. He bought the pop, put the signs up, and start selling hot dogs. Actually, he trained me to sell. This guy had a slick line. This is how he sold his hot dog. Hearty homemade hot dogs, best bang for the buck. <laughs> Mustard, mister. Mayo, madam. The shiny black barbecue crackled. The grilled sausages sizzled. Long lines of people gathered. The business climbed slowly at first, but then the bonanza quickly grew and he upgraded to a food truck. The dough kept pouring in and the boys took to the books. David became a teacher and Leo studied business. The family blew off steam at dinner time. Juliana will cook a buffet of dishes and serve them to everyone. Angelo brought up a bottle of homemade wine from the cellar. And with the wine, they will unwind. <clears throat> Juliana spoke about the community gossip. Angelo gave a narrative of her day, of his day. David spoke about his students. And Leo lectured about economics and the uh, economics and what is happening. On his way home one day, he bought the Globe and Mail. The headline read, Recession is coming. The article that followed was very detailed. There will be a fallback of the economy, it said. Many people will lose their jobs. Without good jobs, people cannot pay their debts, and they'll be forced to go bankrupt. After hearing this news, Angelo gulped down his glass of wine. Juliana's face sank. The couple eyeballed each other. 
they were they, they tried through tough times, but they were fading with age and could not hustle like they had before. The next day, Juliana scaled back on the amount of hot dogs and buns she made. Angelo bought less pop and put out less signs. No more discount for his loyal customers. Recession is coming and he must be prepared. Sales took a nosedive. And by the, by the end of that summer, he was forced to dispose of his food truck. Meals become, became meager at the family home. That evening, Juliana cooked one small dish. Angelo drained the last bit of wine from the cellar. They spoke about the recession. Son, said Angelo to Leo, we are so proud of you. You did so well at university. You are so smart that you even told us that the recession is coming. Son, we want to let you know it's banging in our door. Fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, sometime when we believe something is about to transpire, we train our mind to react as though it's happening, which in itself becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Thank you.